It's my first day out. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to play. But uh, okay, so we're back. Rust all with the uh, with the hero going first, and then uh, Roy explosive damage potential on that man. Yeah, I like the hero first. Just try to you know like get something going. Even if you don't take a stock with the hero, a lot of the time you get so much percent because hero's damage output is crazy, especially when you have Oompa. Yeah. So I like I like going for the hero first. Uh, being able to take out a character like Roy is yeah. really really important, I think. Especially when you have Fox and Mario on the rest of your team, Roy destroys those characters. And Hero is just so deceptive with the with the range of his with his damage ranges too. You know what I'm saying? The, the side B and you got to be careful when you whip in front of him. He does hit hard. Oh, you going to sleep? No. Here we go. You see my man Kuz. Okay. Trying to get in position here. Got the accelerado. Ooh, weak down air. Moving so fast that he was able to get the spike hit towards the ledge and then get the weak hit towards roll range. Oh, he might die to that. Yeah, so that's the one thing about the accelerator is sometimes you just drift too far on the stage, can't do anything about it. So Crustle's gonna bring out the Fox here. Against this Roy. This is a hard matchup, but he does have this Roy at 115. All he needs is that weak nair to get that up smash. Right, and we see this man trying to just, uh, you can see him over and going for the uh, up smash a little bit too early on that, getting punished for it, and my man Kuz is kind of going in a little bit. The wait, and no, nothing doing there. He had it, though. He knew, like, it, but he didn't trust that he was going to be there in time to up smash, and, well, he just gets the up smash out of shield on that flare blade. Going flare blade on shield, now here comes Lucina, and uh, arguably one of the best Fire Emblem characters in the game, so going to have a little trouble with the aerials, so it's going to be on uh, Crustal trying to extend the pressure as much as he can. It's going to be a lot of weaving in and out, especially for Fox. Yeah, I'd like to see a lot more dashing back as well, but as long as he gets these upper strings, that's all he matters. Like, if you get those upper strings, you carry them all the way to the top. You take that stock really, really early. Both these guys sitting around 80%. Not quite in that weak nair range, but getting close now. Yeah, we see Crustal trying really, really hard not to overextend. Who's doing a really good job of spacing, though. The dashbacks have been really important to that. We go a little offstage action, and none. Let's get back to stage, not for free. Gets the weak nair and doesn't believe. That's what I'm saying. Like, you got to trust your ability to react to that kind of thing. And Crustle just seems to be a little bit behind the curve, and Koo's going to take that F smash. Bring Crustle down to his Mario. Now this is his main. Yep. So here we go, Mr. Well-Rounded and uh, his de facto anchor. What's the move here? the forward throw, taking stage control. Oh, looking for the up smash. Crustle kind of like, he plays like he has an idea of what he wants to do, but he doesn't like change that based on what your opponent is doing quite yet. Yeah, more of a, like a stick to your guns type deal. And the uh, back throw, not, not going to kill just yet, but... Ooh, Ooh. okay. I like the concept of uh, trying to get back with a shield breaker. Very nice. Yeah, but Crustle all over that with the Nair. Great stuff to him. And now he's evening this up. Lucas versus uh, Mario here. I'm not sure who Kuz's main is, but this is definitely Crustle's main. He might have the advantage in that. Yep. Got to be really careful about how uh, Lucas extends himself because uh, he does have that, uh, that tether grab. He can really mix up the pressure, especially with these projectiles. Oh, no. Oh, no, sir. Yeah, you got to be careful of that. He's just inches away from getting that Nair as well. And that move right there, that down smash. Oh, oh, man, you, 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 you looked at it and you were like, bro, I don't like where this is going. That man yeah. gonna get two frames. Ooh. Little <laughs> stick. Yo, where'd he go? Stick ball, bro. Where'd he, said, he go? Said, you out of here. Batter up. My man Kuz taking game one. Man, they handling that pretty excellently, actually. So, like, the Mario came through, and I figured because, you know, if Mario was his main, he was gonna handle that a little bit better, but he kind of just exploded that last stock. I don't know where I don't know what that DI was <laughs> from that from yeah, that stick, bro. Straight right. That was that what was that uh, three o'clock DI that uh, schools out DI, lunchtime DI. Yeah, man. <laughs> so uh, here we go, game two. Uh, that kind of came down to the wire. It just things kind of like reeled out of control, and my man is wearing that SpongeBob. The golden brass. Yeah, yeah. The golden <laughs> brass, dude. <laughs> I was yes. about to comment on it too. I'm looking I'm, at his shirt. I'm, I'm like, glad, what dude. is that? Dude. I'm glad we're both evaluating a, these players <laughs> based on what they're wearing. <laughs> For, like foremost, like forget their play. Look, look, we got, look at that shirt though. Oh man, got <laughs> that <laughs> bold <laughs> and brash. And hey, look, man, look good, feel good, pay, uh, play good. Exactly. Play good, exactly. pay good. Oh, okay. We see a Pikachu in the lineup instead. Oh. And okay. See, now this looks like a squash right team on the right. This looks like a team that's just like okay. You see the left side though. The heck. 
Pac-Man. So you want more jank. Okay. Pac first. I've never seen Crystal play Pac-Man in my life. Really? Never. <laughs> and then we got the Three, Pikachu as well. The Pikachu is just such a strong character. One, Especially having Squash Strike. Yeah. Because he's one of those all-around characters, and he's like super, super top tier, so. And he just puts damage on so well, and he keeps advantage. That's the big thing, right? Is like, you want to be able to keep advantage for a long time, and then you just eventually take your opponent's stock. It's not all about just getting those kills all the time with raw kill power. And keeping, and speaking of keeping advantage, that's kind. Of, I'm pretty sure that's what uh, Crustall had planned here with the Pac-Man. You know what I'm saying? You got the ability of those good projectiles, those good aerials. You know what I'm saying? You can stall out a lot of stuff, and you can keep your opponent at bay. I just realized there's no timer. Oh, oh. Boy, if I'm that Pac-Man, I know this stat would be like, all right, yeah, well, well, I, I know. Slot, I'll see ya. <laughs> We're about to play. You're about to play the lamest Smash Brothers you have ever played in your top entire top life. If you need me, bro. I am Audi. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh go. man, yeah, I don't think they care. I, I don't think it matters. Here we go. We see my man Crustall trying, trying so hard to like. I mean, he has the advantage right now, trying to uh, get the projectile game going here and the grab. Yes. Yeah, once he takes stage control, that's where Pac-Man can be so dangerous. Looking for the hydrant setups. Ooh, not able to get the F smash. Probably he was trying to like extend his hurt or hitbox with the hydrant there as well. Didn't end up mattering. Who's getting the roll in? Now Kuz just kind of moving. Oh my god! And that grab. Whoa! Ooh, he's open doors, baby. Yeah, sniped him. Here we go. The Pikachu. So maybe he'll be able to get a little bit of. Uh, Better offense going. Oh, oh Thunder Jolt. <laughs> Getting the an fire high. It was enough, bro. <laughs> so he tapped it beforehand, but still, like, that is just enough for him. And that's the thing, like, the Hydrant adds so many layers to the bait and punish game. Cause yeah. It's like, oh, do you want to tap the Hydrant once, or do you want to get them to fully commit to try to attack in the Hydrant? If you tap the Hydrant once, then maybe they want to attack the Hydrant, that kind of thing. So. God, and this is so frustrating with a character like Pikachu because you want to, like, you want to be aggressive. But, like, the reproach of being aggressive is just completely circumvented by this Pac-Man gameplay. By Pac-Man's gameplay in general, he's just like, bro, ooh, the almost got the bell of the hydrant. Yeah, that would have been nice, but Kuz, a little bit privy to that. Kuz, I mean, he's, like, he's down a stock right now. He's just got to take this uh, Pac-Man stock, and then he's got a fox. Oh, no, dude. This is looking bad. <coughs> Kuz, he's got to work his way back into this one. Crustle's Pac-Man, apparently. Nice. Yeah, going in right now. And like I said, it's still the same thing, you know. Uh, as Lucas, you do get the, you know, you do get the side B projectile, which is great and all. But like that, that, that side magnet ain't gonna do you no favors. All these items are items, so exactly, they're not gonna like hurt you. So, whoa, you. Uh, Russell had like full faith that he was fine there for some reason. He just kept holding it, and that down smash to the ledge, man. Again, so dangerous. Russell's gotta watch out for that. 163, yeah, PK Fire gonna do it. I was gonna say, Lucas definitely has the tools, but my man Kuz, you do have a mountain to climb, my friend. Yeah, he's got a whole Fox stock to climb. That F Smash almost gonna do it. He's looking for some crazy kind of gimp here. Gets oh, a lot of damage goodness. off of that. I hate that moves zoom in when they don't even like do anything. It doesn't uh, do anything, bro. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's, it's really like fake news, man. L I hate it. Lil Mac F Smashes me at zero, and I got zoomed in on. I'm like, all right, relax. <laughs> 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 Go a little up air action and. Kuz, uh, uh, Chris Crustall, he might want to steal this sub because it's getting a little dangerous. And Kuz is kind of moving right now. It seems like he's 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 turned the dial a little bit. One good scared. Yeah, one good edge guard from Lucas, and that might be a dead fox if you ain't careful. Here we go. Gets the weak hit in there. And how does Fox kill, right? Like, he, oh, like that. He like gets that. the back air. He gets the up smash. Something like that. <laughs> the back air, man. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Crustall. He heard you. He was like, watch this. <laughs> Iron Man, one, one, Kuz and Crustle. These guys, uh, Crustle kind of bodied them, to be yeah. honest, in that game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Pac-Man pick is, mm -hmm. uh, I don't especially, know where that came from. Especially, but. like, when your characters, like, really can't do anything about it. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 a, and a match like Squad Strike, like, that's kind of invaluable to have a Pac-Man like that. Right. So, uh, let's see if he can do anything to uh, circumvent this pressure, maybe switch up his game plan, maybe make, make him play a little bit more aggressively. We will definitely see. Yeah, if I'm Kuz, I'm rearranging my characters a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I'd probably put the uh, I'd probably put the Lucina in first. Like, if this man is gonna have Pac-Man on his roster, then I'm definitely thinking about rushing him down with something. And I think Roy is definitely that pick. So, see, yeah, yeah. So I I, I don't know. I think I think you put the Lucina out just because Lucina, you know, that big sword yeah. against a 
player who doesn't necessarily play Pac-Man all the time or is in a Pac-Man main. Yeah. Uh, might be a little bit harder for them to space around that, but it seems like who's at least the order. We'll see what it looks like right now. I'm telling you, man, if that pack, okay, so he actually sends out Fox first, which is okay. very, very interesting. So he thinks he can handle it. And uh, oh my God, my man, you saw you saw his face? This man's face on the on the left right here. This man, he's like gritting his teeth and all that, bro. He's ready. He was expecting the Pac-Man first. He must have been. Uh, but I honestly don't think that Fox Roy is that bad of a matchup. And I agree. Who seems to be moving around quite a bit. And as long as you're using your movement defensively as opposed to sitting in shield, you're going to do just fine against Fox. Oh, he's got a jump, though. To the up tilts. The extension. My man is smoothing right now with Fox. He's got the nares on lock, man. And it just seems like he Kuz is, doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, he's... Okay, he's crazy. Yeah. He's crazy, bro. He's crazy. Yeah. He really went down there with the nair, too. And now, Kuz, you, Kuz, you do not need it that bad. Don't forget, this man sent out Fox first. And this is and this is why he sent out Fox first. Right. He sent out Fox first because, like, bro, if I end up in a lead, now I can super-duper maintain this lead. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, he's he's got the full stock. He's just going to sit on the other side of the stage. He doesn't have to do anything. It's up to Kuz. The onus is on Kuz to approach right now. There's going to be back air. That's a big combo. You might as well take that while you can get it, you know? Wow. 50, 50. off that. And this man, Fox, just so oppressive. And even 50, too. That was crazy. There's the jabs. And once you put Lucas off stage, this can be rough against the Fox. Ooh. Batter up. Once again, that stick ball coming through, man. And now here's the pack. He's got the bell on deck. The hydrant down. Maybe looking for a ledge trap. There it is. Go up and grab it. Oh, I would have. I see. I would have got hit by that. Yeah. I thought he was gonna go up and grab it. They trying to throw apple here, and uh, the edge guarding not go being that successful. So Ku's still alive for now. God, and this man just not going for any up airs, but gets the side magnet. Okay. And we yeah. got to see these guys just playing a little bit of neutral. Mm. Crustle, like the thing about Crustle's Pac-Man right now is like. He's just playing super, super defensive, where I think that if he plays aggressive, Kuz doesn't know what to do. Like, at least that's what we've seen in the past game, at least. And just like, I don't know, I think you just go in. But so far, Krustle playing pretty passive. Yeah, I was gonna say, Krustle's kind of counting on this man just to disrespect him and not like respect Hydrant or anything like that. And you can tell that Krustle isn't like super familiar with what breaks Hydrant and what doesn't, just because he's like trying to throw out these moves that might do it. But right there, that back air gonna take the stock from Lucas, and now the Lucina's out. This is looking pretty bad. If he can seal up this uh, this Pac-Man stock though, he's in a decent position, but this damage is not good. Oh, there it is, overextension, yeah. catching the pinky toe. And I saw that man. He was trying as Pac-Man. He was trying to go for the fair, 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 like down air, turn string, just to get rid of it. But uh, Bing! Yeah. Woo! All right, man. Crustle taking the dub. Yeah. What's happening? What's up? Let's go, COD. What a boss, bro. What's happening? What's happening? Uh, we'll, this we'll man, he made, he got got the winners finals of his pool. Oh, let's go. Let's go, COD. So now we got more squad strike incoming with uh the god uh Mr. E. Oh yeah. Representing demise. And uh, some more. Uh, I think he uh, he's one of those Georgia cats. That oh, came that's uh, that's Cola. Yeah. Uh, formerly Salt One. Okay. See. Yeah. Word. Definitely. So that's like Roy Cloud. Uh, I don't know what the third's gonna be. Maybe Snake. Maybe I think Snake. I think he's got Snake. Yeah. Man. A lot of a lot of lot of fun coming up. And my man, what? Oh no. He took a spill. 